Hello and welcome to the wor a worked exercise for Python for Informatics, exploring information. Uh, my name is Dr. Charles Severance and I'm your host for this particular worked exercise. Uh, this material is uh, copyright Creative Commons attribution. Um, again, try to work these exercises yourself. Uh, in the beginning, they're intended to be easy. They're intended to be worked from the book and the other materials. Not, And this is supposed to be uh, used as a last resort, but you're here, so I assume you know those rules. I assume that you also have everything installed. Um, Python's installed. You know how to use your text editor. You know how to use your command line. This screencast will not sort of go through all of those, although it will review some of them. Go back to pythonlearn.com and go through the software installation uh, screencasts uh, to get to the point where you're ready to run programs. So here's our exercise. We are going to write a program that's going to enter the hours and enter the rate and then compute pay. It's uh, going to prompt and read some strings and convert from floating point to, and then do some multiplication and away we go. So let's minimize that. I will start up my text wrangler and this is the last program I was working on. I'll hide those, get rid of those, start up my terminal, make it a little bit smaller, pull it down here, and bring up Text Wrangler. So now I have a new document. And so I'm going to do what I always do. And um, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to prompt for some hours. And so I'm going to make a variable called imp, which is just sort of mnemonic for some input. It's a string, because raw input always always reads a string. It doesn't read it now. It, even though they're numbers, it reads them as a string. We'll have to convert them. Raw input. Enter hours colon space. And I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm going to print imp out. Now I have to save this file. Save as. And I'll put in Python here. And I'm going to call it hours one.py because we're going to do a whole series of these things. Save that. Now you'll notice that as soon as it saves as a .py, then it does syntax coloring. Thank you very much. So then I go into my command window, CD desktop. I have everything in this folder py for inf on my desktop. Right there, that folder. CD. Oops. Um, and then I do uh, ls. Again, dir for Unix, and then here we go. So I say Python h o powers one dot p y again, and I I use tab a lot because I just don't like typing. So let's run it. So I enter some hours one two three, and it prints out one two three, and just to show you, it's just a string. I'll just put some crap in there, and out comes exactly as you would expect, crap. So it's not really, and let's do this. Let's just say a print type of imp, just to sort of prove ourselves. It's a string, right? It is a string. It is not an integer. So how do we convert from a string to an integer? Ah, uh, float. We use the built-in function float. And now I'm going to call my variable hours to be quite mnemonic. And I'll call the float conversion. And then I'll print hours and print the type of hours. Now, you might say, hey, Chuck, you know, you're a pretty smart guy. This is only like five lines of code. How come you're doing this slowly? How come you take se steps? That's what we call iterative development. So I'm just being really safe here. I'll get to the whole program in a bit. I mean, that's this dot, dot, dot stuff down here. There'll be more, but I'm, I'm just sort of playing with it one bit at a time and and making sure that I know what's going on. And even even in I don't I'm doing this a little bit more exaggerated here, but when I write programs, I usually start with hello world and then add to it. It's it's sort of the you start with sort of a nice blank canvas and put some basic stuff on the back of it. Okay. So so now I'm gonna read some input. I'm gonna to prove that this is a string. I'm gonna convert the string to a floating point, put in a different number. Then I'm going to print out that thing and the type of it just to sort of be sure that it works. So I have your Python hours 1.py and I go 1, 2, 3. 
and it turns out that now I've, I've converted it to one, two, three, four, and I've got myself a float. And of course, now if I call, if I put junk in there, it's going to get a, a traceback error because it just cannot convert DSKJ to uh, float. But we're not going to, we're going to fix that later. Okay, so now I'm going to start deleting some of this stuff because that's pretty clear that that's working. Okay, so now I got a prompt for rate. Well, good programmers don't type if they don't have to. So I'm just going to cut and paste this, and then I'm going to change this to rate. So raw input enter rate, and then um, that'll be a string, of course. Then I will change that to float, and I'm going to put that into rate. And uh, just to be sure, I'm going to print out rate comma hours. Now at this point, they should be floating point numbers. So let's run that. We'll start with a simple test, 40 hours, $10 an hour. There we go. They've been converted to floats, just peachy fine. So now I'm going to create a variable called pay, rate, times, hours, and I'm going to print out pay. And I will just get rid of this one with a comment. And you notice how I used a comment, a pound sign there, because I'm not deleting that. I keep that in case something goes wrong. I don't think it's going to, but here we go. Whoa, syntax error, invalid syntax, pay rate times hours. Oh, I forgot the equal sign. Need to make that an assignment statement. Let's try this again. Python hours 1, 40, 10, 400. There we go. And let me go check. Let's run the data, 35 and 275. I'll run my program again. 35. $2.75 cents an hour, 6.23 is my sample example, right? Yes, it is. So there we go. So here you have it. Um, hours and rate equal pay.